Make a Monday Basic is brought to you by Pesla, the people behind PRTG Network Monitor. To find out how PRTG can help you monitor your IT systems, check out the links below. Now, the episode. Raspberry Pi, what is it? It's the most popular single board computer on the market. What's a single board computer, you ask? Well, it's a computer, but on a single board. At its core, it is a complete computer with all the stuff typical computers have, but with a very small footprint. And like computers, it needs an operating system, which is usually a modified Linux version, depending on the use case. You can control the Pi, either with its graphical user interface or via command line, as well as over the network from another PC. So you don't need a display and keyboard permanently attached to the Pi. It also has its own tiny storage space that it boots from. How tiny? As big as your thumbnail, a micro SD card is all it needs for its operating system. It does have one feature that sets it apart from normal computers and which makes it very versatile. It's GPIO ports. GPI what ports? GPIO ports are physical pins on the board itself that are programmable. They can either send voltage to whatever is connected or even receive data through electrical impulses. A practical use would be checking sensor data or controlling a relay that starts or stops a motor, for example. But what can we build with a $35 single board computer? Even if you've never touched a Raspberry Pi before, there are many free instructions online. Many of them are even useful. To get a general impression of what's possible, here are some of the most popular projects. You can use the Pi as a basis for a smart mirror that shows you things like the weather forecast, which appointments you have, the news headlines, uh, feed from your surveillance cameras, or even just how fine you're looking today. If you're into smart homes, you can host the server for that on your Pi. So all the information coming from the sensors will be stored there. All the actuators will be controlled via the Pi. And of course, your single board computer will do all the little if then else magic for you. Or what about a small, simple robot that can play xylophone? Other than that, you can do some network related stuff like setting up your own router, access point, or a NAS or media center that contains all of your photos. You can build your own webcam or even night vision cam that stores its data on the NAS we just mentioned. Or what about just a little retro video game console? As you can probably tell, there are plenty of use cases for an almost credit card size computer. But what is it not for? Obviously heavy graphic work like video editing is a little too heavy on the performance side for a device like this. In general, big operating systems with performance intensive software can also be problematic. If your requirement is a very low energy footprint, like sending data from a sensor while running on a battery for a longer period of time, the Pi is not the best option. In this case, a small Arduino or ESP board would probably fulfill this need way, way better. As a learning platform with an arguably low entry barrier, the Raspberry Pi has dominated the market for computer education for years. It is a very good first touch point for many students that want to get coding and developing. The Pi is also great for prototyping new products and it's found its way into the houses of many tech geeks around the globe. What was your best project you've ever done with a Pi? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to our channel below. Click the little notification button. See you next time.